It's kit unboxing day. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I will be unboxing the latest card kit from Simon Says Stamp and making five cards for your viewing pleasure. I've got a lot to cover today, so I'll stop talking and we'll get into the video, which is coming up next. Commence the unboxing. Oh, we're gonna get a pouch this time. All right, let me get everything out. And let me get all of this out and be right back. So here's a look at the May 2024 card kit. It is called Celestial Wishes. Now, you're gonna start out with a pouch, which some kits have them and some kits don't. It really just depends on the full value of the kit, but it's nice to get these to keep your kit elements together. So we're gonna pop this aside, okay? And the color will vary. I have this sort of pale orange color, but you might get a different color. You are also going to get one envelope, and this is an A2 dandelion color. That makes sense for, you know, celestial, looking up at the sky. All right, ooh, we have many little things. All right, let's start here. You are going to get some cubes and these aren't available yet so that's kind of fun um terracotta which is a newer color and zest and these have not officially been released in cube format so that is very fun i love getting cubes early and it's also just a great way to test out colors in general just to see like do i love this color so that is fun zest and terracotta cute you are going to get some positively dazzling gems in the warm tones. So, oh, I do love these gems. Oh, so you've got you've got a mixture of sort of purple and deep reds and amber. Yeah, that's a good combo. That's a good collection of tones. These are really beautiful. They're glass and they are super shiny. Very fun. Makes sense with that color palette. You're going to get is this little baby tiny blending tools I've never seen tiny blending tools you are gonna get some to play with and that is really cute it also looks like you get a couple extra foams in here so that is gonna be fun to play with tiny they're so cute oh sugar you're gonna get a little germs pop someone asked me do I eat these and the answer is occasionally yes <laughs> You are going to get a little emboss and cut folder. So what's fun about these is they emboss the shape and cut out the opening. And this one is called Sunny Fern. This is the Sunny Fern. So that's cute. I've, I've played with these before in unboxing. So I, I kind of know, I know how they work. Ooh, this is pretty. You're going to get 10 double-sided sheets of Craft Consortium ombre six by six pattern paper now they are two-sided so that means oh wow we are looking at some celestial goodness oh gosh that's beautiful oh look at that these are gorgeous oh, love that mm. you are gonna and the nice look at the rainbow oh that actually looks like the best uh, alcohol ink blend that I might never do. Gorgeous. Wow, we have a whole rainbow. Oh man, those are gorgeous. Ooh, 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 Okay, you know I'm a fan. Oh, look at that. It's just a whole rainbow of paper. That's gorgeous. Oh, love Craft Consortium. They really do great pattern paper packs. All right, we're setting this aside. Well, there's a die here. This die is the Celestial Burst die. And I wonder if it works with this. I'm gonna just flip it over now. Let's take a look because this may cut out something, I think. Celestial Wishes is the kit namesake. Does that make sense? Okay. And we've got a six by eight clear stamp set. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm just curious. I don't know if this one cuts it out. But let's see, I think that it does. I think you can cut that out with the detail. Okay, that's cool, or just by itself. So I think that's fun. All right, this is all-purpose greetings. We have 
happy birthday, thank you, in a really elegant font. And we have, hope your day is magical, you are a treasure to me, uh, thank you so very much. We have these cute little celestial stamp sparkly things, um, some little gem shapes, little flowers, some very cute butterflies. Oh, I like that. Um, some leafery here. We have miss you and sending you the best, wishing you the best day ever and sending you good vibes. And look at that cute little corner and a circle, which I guess would go in the center of the sunburst. So that's really fun. And I will also have a link to the coordinating dies if you don't love fussy cutting, but we don't include those in the kit because that would change the price dramatically. But that is Celestial Wishes. Oh, that's very fun. Oh, I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts. You are also going to get two sheets, 110 pound Nina's uh, Classic Crest in Solar White, which is a great, I mean, it's the, it's the paper I, I create with the most. So that is a look at the kit and the components and your little pouch here and your ink pads and all these fun, fun papers. So as I, uh, as I want to do, I am going to percolate and we'll get started next with card number one. For the first card, I think I'm gonna get ambitious and I am going to start out by masking an area. I've cut one of my white pieces of cardstock down to be four and a quarter by five. And here I just have to get my little piece of masking magic started. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a mask on one side, like that, one there, okay. I don't really need the excess, so I may end up just cutting this off a little. And this is about a half an inch, so we're gonna put you right. Be a little tricky to see that white on white, but that's gonna work for what I have planned. So I'm just going to snip off the excess here. And I could, I could save these little pieces. You never know when you're gonna need a small piece of masking magic and it really can go right back on the sheet. Okay. So I'm going to take the big butterfly here off and I am going to pop this one right in the center. Now I'm not sure yet what I'm doing. Uh, we're gonna find out, <laughs> we're gonna find out shortly. I'll just put you, oh, it's pulling all everything up. All right, let's just put you right there, right back in the center. And I'm gonna prime this. I actually have a little eraser that I'm gonna go over and just get it so that it looks a little dull. It takes the shine off, it takes, you know, it primes your stamp. All right, I have a grip mat holding this in place and I'm going to powder up. Okay. Now I don't know, I'm gonna to have to handle this a few times, but I'm gonna be stamping a few butterflies. I have my Simon's Stamp embossing ink. I'm gonna bring this down and transfer. Pick it up. Oh yeah, that's gonna look great. Okay. And go like that. Now, before I get too carried away, I think I'm going to bring in a smaller butterfly. And this one will basically be fully contained Actually, how do I want to do that? I can see it in a way that perhaps you cannot because it just looks white to you. But this is great because if you tilt it at the right angle, you can kind of see what you're doing. So I'm gonna go with this friend here and again, prime it. And I'm gonna ink this up as well and bring this down right there. Great, I think I'll do it one more time. And I'm gonna keep doing this to fill in all the way up to the best of my ability. So I'm gonna repeat this one as well, right up here at the top. He will go in a different direction. So here we're 
pointing that way. Here, we're going to point that way. And again, stamp. And now I can't decide if I want to do one little bit of, of little starry things up here and one down here, and I think that I do. So look at how I'm getting that right down here. Now I am going to be trimming this a little too, so we'll see. We'll see how this ends up looking. Stamp. And stamp. You. And you. Now, let me get my folded piece of paper so I can add powder. I've got my fine detail white powder here from Simon and I'm going to just sprinkle it on to my panel. So you kind of get the vibe, we're doing, we're doing an embossed resist. And we made a little pattern, which now you can see my pattern. Mm, getting fancy. It's getting fancy. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt this powder. And now what's nice, as soon as this cools, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure the Masking Magic is still pressed down, but it hasn't really moved. So now you can see I have my embossed pattern, and I'm going to ink blend over this. So for the blend effect that I'm trying to get on this, and I have this stuck down to another grip mat, I'm going to bring in butter, which is part of the trio that has the zest. I have my terracotta as the deepest shade, and I'm also going to work in a cantaloupe. I'm going to use my blending brushes for this as opposed to the tiny blending tools, mostly because I am, I am much better at ink blending with a brush. So, but I have an idea for those tiny tools. So we're going to bring in a little butter, and we're just going to start at the top. And we're going to create this emboss resist and this beautiful masked area. I think that is lovely. And now I'll just, again, on top, any ink that pools, you wipe it away and it looks like that. Now let's lift this off of the grip mat. And I guess it's time to do the magical peel and reveal. So let's grab our masking magic and peel it back. Look at that crisp line. Oh, so good. Okay, coming up here as well. And how pretty is that? Oh, I think that's so cool. All right, let me get this cleaned up and we'll pop a greeting and finish the card. In an effort to save some time, I went ahead and just used my paper trimmer and cut this panel down to be four inches by five and a quarter. So I just preserved this, this whole side. I stamped and embossed a Miss You in gold and then I fussy cut it. Now I did that off camera and I will tell you that I did this on 80 pound Nina Classic Crest Solar White because sometimes it's easier to fussy cut with a lighter weight paper. And then I thought I would finish it off with some of the gems from this set. And I think, well, I don't know if I want a really big gem but we'll see. You know what? I think I'm going to go with medium gold. So let me 
pick you out. What are yellow? I don't want a giant yellow. I gotta dump these so I can actually find one. Because I think I think these will be very pretty. And we can just say we'll do a total of five, right? Maybe one up here. Look at how tiny these little little gems are. I love having the really small ones. And then that can go there. And that can go there if I like. Just just for a little shine. So I'm gonna put these on to finish out the card. And I will say, boop, well I will say boop, this formula, boop, of masking, stamping and embossing, and then ink blending, boop, off to one side is a great design approach, right? You, I've, I've done this recently, uh, which is why this whole idea is in my brain. I didn't do heat embossing with it, but boop, it's such a great design for any stamp that you have to have those stamps kind of exploding out of that space. And that is card one. That, as simple as it is, oh, I think I need to go take a little nap. I'll be back with card two. Did a little prep for card two, but here's what we're doing. I stamped this little friend, right, the little starburst, onto a piece of lightweight copy paper that is smaller than this piece of cardstock. I die cut this out, framed it so that I could perfectly see how to line up, and then you just pop in and stamp. Okay, so let's do one. I did this once on my channel, and uh, see how it just pops in like that? Just pop it in. I did this once, and I don't know what I was thinking, but it turned out terribly. Um, <laughs> Well, it didn't turn out terribly. I think my technique was not good. However, you know what would be nice? I wonder if I should put a little, no, this is fine. All right, I'm gonna show you again. So we're gonna stamp the terracotta, right? Go like that. Ink it up all the way around and bring it down, press. And there we go. We have a beautifully stamped and die cut piece. Isn't that fun? So you could do a bunch of these. I think I will do a total of three, okay? I, I pre-die cut these out, just again, to save a little time. So make sure it's in there, right? Make, oh, did I think I'm a little off here? Come on now, get in there. Yeah, I got, I slipped under, hold on. We, we can build it. We can go faster than we were before. Okay, let's just try that. All right, there we go. Oh, I see, some have a straight, so there is a way it goes in there. Straight ones, straight ones, the other ones all have a little pattern on them because they have the, the dash. So be mindful of that if it looks like it's not fitting in. And bringing it down, let it transfer, and lift. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna do a couple more using the zest. And then I'm gonna add centers as well. So let me do those real quick off camera and then we'll continue. Now I'm gonna take my little center piece and I'm just gonna make sure that I get it perfectly centered and I guess that's that looks pretty good. Uh, right, if you're looking down, maybe a little more over here. All right, I'm gonna pick that up. Hopefully that will all stay. I'm gonna prime this with my finger real quick. I just wanna see where it lines up, see if that's perfectly centered. And it's a little off, it's a little off, and I don't want it to be a little off. So we're gonna go like that. I'm gonna bring it a little bit more up there, and I'll see if that works. All right, let's see. Of course, it's gonna be kinda of hard to tell, but feel like that's going to be a little better. All right, we'll try one. Actually, I don't think it has to be perfect. And now I'll just continue popping these in and adding the colors that coordinate. All 
right now I have some beautiful little friends that I'm going to hopefully create an awesome design with. All right, moving on. I have an idea. I've cut this to be four and a quarter by five and a half. And I thought I was gonna use all these, but I'm gonna set these aside because I think I'm only gonna use three on my card. And what I wanna do is have a really minimal greeting. So I am gonna take the sending you good vibes and I'm gonna get my Misty. All right, I'm going to stamp this minimal greeting right in here, sending you good vibes. That looks pretty good. Pick it up and let's pick, kick you guys off. I'm gonna prime this a little again with my little eraser. Should be good. And I think that's, yeah, that looks straight enough. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little cube of black ink. This is some black onyx. Ink it up, tap ink it up and tap. I love a minimal greeting. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some foam tape on a few of these so that we can have a panel with some dimension. I'm gonna trim this panel down just a bit and I'm gonna cut it to be, I think three and three quarter. No, you know what? I want it to be bigger. I'm gonna go with my four by five and a quarter panel die. And the reason I'm gonna do this is I wanna make sure that my sending good vibes is straight. Cause I think I had it a little off, a little off. And I think that if I bring in my ruler, little, little trick I learned here and go like that, that's straighter. All right, I'm gonna cut this out. Alrighty, you can always fix something that's a little crooked. And now let me get a note card prepped and we'll build out the card. Before I assemble the card though, I kind of want to take a little uh, black ink and spatter it on here, but I also just want to cover up the greeting so that the spatter kind of stays off. And all I'm gonna do is take a little brush here. I have this round brush from the Royal and Lang Nickel Zen. And I'm gonna smush a little of that ink cube down, take a tiny bit of water like that, get my brush wet. I just think it'd be something extra to have a couple extra little bits of black on there like that. And to kind of do it in that sort of U shape. So I'll let that dry and then we'll build the card. I pulled a piece of Simon Says Stamp Burnt Orange from my stash and it is a perfect match to the terracotta. So that's a happy discovery. And what I'm gonna do here is each, each one of these is gonna have a slightly different dimension. So I'm gonna use my liquid glue here and we're just gonna slide one here. I'm gonna be trimming some of the excess off. Oh, it's a little slippery because of the liquid glue. And this one glues directly onto the panel. This has three of the thinner Simonson stamp foam squares. Let me peel those off. So that's one level of dimension. And then I've got the thicker foam squares on the third sun. But what I'll do here, oh, got some magnet problems here. I'm gonna glue, let's see, glue this on, but I'm gonna use glue for a little float time. Okay. And we'll just say we're gonna get a little crisscrossy like that. I want it to be pointing right to the sending good vibes, right there. Okay. And that has a little dimension over the top. I think it's so fun to include the sunburst die in this in this set because yeah do I want to have this be a little bit more crisscrossed maybe like that so now what we're going to do is we're going to trim off the excess I know some people do this with scissors I get a little nervous about using scissors and I prefer the potential right for a nice clean cut 
from my paper trimmer. So because I can easily line this up here, excuse my head like that, cut those off. I think I did pretty good. I could have gone a little closer. Let's see here. Put you here. There we go. Come here. Again, I like to press it right up against. Cut. And right in there, right on the edge. And cut. And that, whoop, that is the trimmed panel. So we'll get this popped up onto the note card. All right, I've mounted this onto the note card. I used some Simon Says Stamp Big Mama foam tape just for a little extra dimension on the panel. And I gotta do it. I'm gonna do a few more of these gems just for that little extra shine. Boop. All right. Come, oh, I flipped you. Come here now. Flip back over. There we go. Little glue. that up Oop. I like that position and I love the color of these ones Oop. Oop. and whoop come on now you're getting a little wild Oop. like that and that's card number two so simple but it took a while so we're I think I think I definitely owe a very quick card for the next one, but I love how that turned out. And I love the color of this burnt orange cardstock. It's a great match for the terracotta. All right, moving on. For the next card, I am going to stamp on this beautiful piece of pattern paper. Now, I haven't quite decided how it's gonna work out, but I want to use some of this leafery. I'm gonna place one here and I think I'm gonna place one here just like that okay and we're gonna emboss right on the pattern paper now this probably it probably lists the weight but it feels like maybe an 80 pound weight it's not cardstock heavy but but you can do this you know you can stamp and emboss on pattern paper it's no big deal and I'm going to take my anti-static powder and just put it on here. This is a very smooth paper, so I anticipate the powder will slide right off, but I think that is gonna be nice. Now, I'll take my clear embossing ink, ink up my stamps, and bring that down. And we'll just transfer. Walk that over, second coat of ink, that. I'm just going to use my little pressure tool that helps my wrists. Let me grab my paper. It's pretty easy to see where it shows up on here, but I think this white is going to give it a really cool pop and contrast. Alrighty, like that. It's not pretty. I mean, yes, you have to waste aside right you're not going to get to use both sides of this gorgeous paper but you know you gotta you gotta make a choice all right all right now i did not notice that I missed a little. I didn't press as hard as I needed to, but I actually think that will be okay because by the time I figure out what I'm gonna do with this card, maybe I can pop my greeting somehow in that area. All right, moving on. Although, you know what? I can stick this right back in. Let's see, where is it at? Was it right up in there? You know what? I'm gonna see if I can get that right there, right there, and right there. And I'm gonna see if I can add a little powder and make that work. Like that. Well, I mean, I got it. Okay. So that's a case for leave your stamp in until you're sure what you're gonna do. Okay, now we move on. Went ahead and stamped and embossed a couple of happy birthday greetings. And rather than fussy cut, 
think I'm going to use one of my die sets to make a large notched banner if I can. So let me run that through my die cut machine. I did two. This is lavender and this is uh, plum punch because I'm not sure yet what color I like. So let me get this one cut out as well and then we will... Oh, did I... I shouldn't have trimmed it. I went and trimmed it. Uh, I might be stuck with this one. All right, let me get my other pieces together and show you my idea for this card. So here's my thinking. I You can cut it to this size, but I wanted to be able to have the power of the crop. And so I'm going to crop. This is, well, let's see, I'll tell you the actual measurement. It's going to be five and a quarter tall by, oh, maybe it needs to be, well, we'll see, because my, my note card will be five and a half. So I got to figure this out, but I want this to come right here so this bleeds off the bottom like that. I'm going to go ahead and run that through my die cut machine. I feel like I am not able to do a simple card today, and that is okay because, oh, I got powder on here. That's okay. We're going to hold this onto the grip mat. Now I'm done embossing. I've made a note card. And I redid both of these just to have them be perfect squares because here's my thinking, okay? I'm going to be trimming some things down and I'm either going to have a light lavender base or I think the darker one is going to be better. And then I'm going to trim this at the top. However, what I want to do is I do want to have some leafery. <laughs> Oh, but you know what? I think I need to be perfectly in the center to do this. Um, I would like to have a little coming out from each side, but how do I do that? Let's let's see here if I can go. Maybe a little will be here, like that. And maybe a little will be here. Okay, just like that. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to lift this off. And I'm just gonna stamp it in Simon Says Stamp Lilac. So we're definitely, we're definitely going with a color vibe today. Some of this is gonna get covered up. If I don't like it, that's okay, right? I'll just, I won't use it. <laughs> oh gosh, we really missed it right in there, didn't we? Okay, you get that? No, I'm still a little light in that area. Okay, that's why I have to press like really hard. Okay, that's actually nice because that will be enough. Oh, yes, and now, how do I, I should have, I'm gonna flip it like that, basically. I just wanna see where it's gonna fall. No, that's not gonna work at all. So I'm gonna redo, let's come over here, my positioning in just a second. this video. All right, moving on. I had a change of heart. I am not loving the balance of this. And so I flipped the other piece over that has this pattern, right? And cut it to the same size, backed it with some cardstock, taking my other one here. And I want to do the same design, but with that look. I just think that's going to be better. But the problem is I'm going to have to cut this right smack dab in the middle, which I will. So let me get my little paper trimmer here. See, here's the thing, you can, you know, you can change your mind. You can change your mind. You can, you know, cut something right in half, right? And there we go, we're gonna do that. And I think what I'll do is I'll just, well, how am I gonna do this? I guess I can position this here, position this right at five and a half, make sure that those are lining up just, just, just fine, right, like that, okay? And then I'll just take a little tape to make sure we're straight. 
and hold that right there. And then I'm just gonna pop this right on top. Now I guess I could do a couple foam squares or you know what I could do too, just to make sure that this stays together. I'll just, yeah, just take a piece of this and put a little put a little tape on the top and the bottom. That way I know that that will hold when I pop that up. All right, let me put some foam squares on here. <laughs> And see, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna change my mind. All right, moving on. Alrighty, I now have my thin foam squares on here, and then I'm gonna pop the whole thing up. But I guess all I have to do is just kind of visualize the center, like that. Drop it down, and that panel can now be popped up onto my note card, and I think that's gonna fit great. All right, I'll get the foam tape on, and we'll finish it up. I'm using slightly thicker foam tape for the back of this because I want a little more loft. So I just grabbed my Ulta New foam tape and you can see how it's all kind of nicely held together. Looks a bit like a hot mess here, but now all I have to do, press this up to the top, line this up in the center like that, four on each side, and a drop and press and that is what I wanted I just think I don't know if I had put that in the center I would have loved it but I didn't love that look and yet I actually really like this let me see if I do want to put anything shiny on here I got to do it this purple is the perfect sort of jewel tone pun and not intended well pun intended uh, for this card just to bring a little shine boop, with this warmer boop, tone of purple. Oh, I love it. Boop. I even got a little sloppy over here with my embossing um, because I wasn't sure I was doing this really quick off camera so I could finish the card boop, once I had the idea. But I still think that is just really fun. So pattern paper layering on some stamps, had a good idea, would have gone in that direction, but I think having the leafery coming out at different angles is a better look. All right, these have not been easy. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little break, but I'll be back before you know it with card number four. For the next card, I am going to use the little emboss and cut folder. And what I'm going to do is rather than cut a piece to fit in here perfectly, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it in like this and then trim it out after the fact. I have my intercut here and I do have it set to 2D letterpress emboss. It's got the settings here on the side. You can see that right there. And then I find that when I'm doing these little folders, having this set to about, eh, about a minus three works pretty well. So I'm going to get my plates ready and we'll run this through. I'm gonna pop the platform down. I'm not cutting into anything. I just wanna make sure this is lined up so that when this goes through, it will emboss and then cut out the center. Okay, pop that right on there. And we'll just run it through. It's a little tight. Oh no, that feels pretty good actually. Okay, coming through. And now, I will have, oh yes, please. All right, I have this perfectly embossed and cut little fern frame. And so now I'm going to do a little ink blending. So I'm gonna bring in this pretty trio of inks, the Aspen, Sage, and Pine. And I've got my grip mat here just to kind of hold this in place for me while I blend. And I'm gonna start with my lightest color at the top Did I do that right, Aspen? Yeah, I think so. I think I had some other green on here, so it might look a little greener than I thought it was gonna look. Sometimes I do a better job of cleaning my brushes than others, okay? But I am most definitely going to come in with Sage. Okay. Deepen that up a bit. Just to create a little greenery frame. 
like that. And I am going to be cutting this down after I finish blending. And of course, this will smooth out a lot once it's completely dry, but I'm going to finish it with a little pine. I'm going to kind of tap that a little, just as the deepest color at the bottom. Kind of come up into it. All right, I'm going to let that dry back completely. And while that's drying, I'm going to stamp myself a little butterfly to be inside this frame. Next, I'm going to take a little scrap of paper and I'm going to take my little, my little guy here and it's stained because I will show you why. <laughs> I'll show you why at the end of the video because I actually started a card that did not turn out at all for this version and I had to rethink it and that happens sometimes, but I will show you the card. So what I'm going to do, I need some ink and I need some brushes. I'm going to create this sort of gradient blend of my butterfly. Just kind of fill that up first with the terracotta and then just kind of fade it up a bit and stamp. And I'm going to do this a few times with the terracotta and then also take some with my brush as well to kind of bring that up a bit. And stamp again. See how it's starting to fade up? Then I'm going to repeat with the zest. Get a little left-handed inking here. And again, oh, that's not my yellow. <laughs> Oops. Go like that. And let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. All right. And again, you don't have to clean off your stamp from the other color because you really want to encourage that transition. Okay. And actually, I think we're gonna try to get a little more of the red in there. I mean, terracotta really is an interesting color because it when it it looks a little red at times. But then it sort of dries back lighter. And so it's just a really pretty color. Very, very unique. Okay, now we'll do a little more of the yellow right there in the middle. And now I'll just use my scissors and fussy cut this off camera. And that will be that. But while I have my stamps out, I'm going to also stamp a sunburst. And we're just going to make a very simple yellow zest sun. Okay, ink up, bring that down, press. And I'll do it a couple of times just to get a little more vibrancy. But maybe one more time here and then I'm going to add the center and this will be of course the yellow center okay. press yeah that's good enough and uh, press well and the nice thing is even with it being a tiny bit off, I think I'm going to offset it a bit behind my little square. So that is my sun, and now I can move on. So here's how I want to have the sun coming out, and then I'm going to put the butterfly just sort of at the corner, right? He's going to be maybe just flying in or flying out, but whatever where, he's going to be out here. And so I'm going to put little marks here, 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 and here, just so I know exactly how to trim it. And I can cut that down so that that can go right on top. So let me cut that out real quick, and then I'm going to get a, a note card prepped and we'll pick out a stamp for the greeting. So went ahead and stamped and cut this out. 
And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. <laughs> Turns out uh, I personally do have the dies for these. They were in the next release from Simon Says Stamp. That is the only reason I did this, of course, because my fussy cutting skills aren't that good. But I'm telling you that I was in a meeting with the team at Simon and they said, oh yeah, the dies are in your box. I'm like, oh, okay. So I decided to do that just to show you what this little greeting would look like. And actually, you know what? I put the wrong size foam squares on here. I'm going to double these up. But what I'm going to do, and I glued that to the back. I, I cut a panel of this cardstock that I used on the other base. And I think what I'm going to do is just do some stripes on here for some detail. Now I don't do a lot of scoreboard stuff, but I'm going to go every two just for some texture, right? Because then that's going to add something. So I'll work my way across and get all these lovely little score lines in. This is such a quick way to take a panel and add a little something extra. All right. And you, and then we'll just flip it like that, line it back up, and go out two, and then work our way back out like that. So now we have a little texture. You can do this side. Ooh, I kind of like that side. I think I am going to do it on that side. Again, it's very subtle, right? But it's just a, a fun way to add a little texture. So. Let's score the actual note card. And this will score right at five and a half. And this is the classic crest from the kit. Well, this is probably from my stash at this point because I've used so many pieces, but this is the card stock that I personally stock up on for my card bases. It's a little bumpy though, so I don't know. I gotta be pressing down pretty hard little margin all the way around like that oh yeah i like that texture just a little liquid glue will hold it make sure it's right and then i can just frame that again so it almost the margins almost cascade in you see that kind of get up there a little like that really cute side to side it's about right that's why we like the liquid glue yeah that's cute I want him pointing into the Sun and off just a little bit like that I mean that's fun and I don't think I'm gonna put any shine on that I think this is just cute as is I could see what the gold oh boy I'll just see Coming here. Boop. These are very small too, so I love boop, the little teeny tinies. Oh, I think I just accidentally picked it up. Let's go here. Boop. Right there. And that is my finished card project. All right, and I, I will show you at the end what I had initially started with and I will explain why I think this is a much better design. All right, let's move on to the final card. For the final card, I'm going to keep it simple. And if I don't, you can tell me, Kathy, you said you were going to keep it simple and you didn't. But this time, I'm going to put on some music and I am going to stamp a few lovely little blooms going up and they'll be analogous colors so they're going to follow each other in the rainbow. We'll start with lilac and we'll see where we end up.
So how pretty is that? Very, very simple. I did get a little water on there, but I think we're gonna ignore that water. And we're going to stamp on a nice little greeting. So I am going to turn this into a thank you card. I'm gonna stamp this in black ink. I think it will be nice right on the card here. All right. And I guess it doesn't really matter because I can crop this any way I like to make sure it's straight. I'm gonna use the Rainbow Splash Line Black. It's the same formula basically as the Positively Saturated and it's nice and inky and crisp. So we'll ink this up and we'll just do it a couple times just to get the nice inky black. I'm not pressing too hard so I don't squish anything like that. Oh, that's so pretty. You could layer in any colors you like. You can stamp the leafery any way you like. I just think that is such a simple way to create a panel that looks great, right? So, so simple. All right, let me get this cleaned up and I'll put a little bit of spatter on this. Again here, I'll just smush some of this down right here and get my little brush again, spritz a little water, get my brush wet, pick it up and just kind of put just a few top and bottom and side like that. Very, very basic and simple, but look how pretty that is just with a little extra. All right, I'll trim this down and turn it into a card. Got my foam tape on the back. Again, I went with a thicker foam tape because this is a simpler card. And we're gonna pop it down right in the center. I think that right there, you don't need anything else. That is a very simple thank you card. I absolutely love it. Again, leafery, what can't you do with it? What can't you do with it? All right, let's take a look at all the cards I created today. Here's a look at the cards I created today using this kit, and I really love how these turned out. This whole color palette is not really me. Like, I don't usually use these rusty tones, but there's something about this that I really like, so let's zoom in and take a closer look. So the first card was just some masking, stamping, embossed resist, and ink blending. And I just wanted to show you how well the greeting card uh, envelope is what they're called, that's what we're calling them now, would go with this card, right? That would look so good. But this is such a simple, easy, go-to design. You can do this with any stamps you have. Give it a try, do the masking, stamp, emboss, blend, and peel and reveal that beautiful band. And it's just a great formula for any clean and simple design. The fact that you get the die in the kit to cut out this intricate sunburst, I think is really fun. And I love how this turned out. I love just having three, they're really big, so you can see how you can really fill up a card panel. I also love a card with a minimal greeting. And that one too, well, that wouldn't look bad with that. So good envelope to have. All right, putting that back. This one, which took a major twist and turn, I absolutely love how this turned out. This feels really different for me. I don't know if this feels different for you, for me, for you, but I really think this is fun. And again, that's the pattern paper. And you can always do stamping embossing on pattern paper, and it's going to be a pretty cool look. All right, moving on to the fourth card. Now, this is fun, and I really like it, but I have to show you what I did first, and then I just thought, I don't love this. So I'd be curious to know what you think in the comments, but I started out doing something more like this. I took the pattern paper, I stamped directly on it and embossed, and I love the colors here, and I love how the jewels pick it up, but there was just something that just wasn't working. And I feel like if you look at these side by side, it's a good example of how just different design choices can make for a better, more cohesive card. I think part of the problem was this pattern paper in the kit, which is beautiful, isn't quite a perfect match with what I blended. So I just wanted to show you that because I think this one is a stronger design and so we put you aside. 
It happens very rarely. Uh, do I do something and start over? But that one I felt like I needed to. And finally, one simple card from this kit. And I love how this turned out too. Anytime you have a leaf pattern, you just stamp a few down in analogous colors and you have a beautiful, simple card done and done. So those are all the cards from today's video. If you're interested in becoming a subscriber to the Simon Says Stamp Card Kit, you can start today with this kit while supplies last. I'll have information in the YouTube description box, plus a link to my blog post where you can see more photos and get more information on the kit. You can cancel your subscription at any time, or you can also skip any kit that doesn't appeal to your design aesthetic. The kits are a great value, and I hope you will check them out today. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you, so hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. To see more kit unboxings that I've